uh, hi everyone i want to welcome you all to my channel knowledge booster tv uh, today i am going to show you one of the statistical tools uh, about removing outliers from your study from your observations using statistical analysis software called sas so before going directly into the steps uh, of removing outliers using sas i want to briefly describe what does outlier mean so outliers are those observations which are uh, far from most of the observations for example if we look at these pictures here picture 1 and picture 2 um, there are two observations this observations observation which is uh, circled uh, with red and this observation which is circled with uh, red uh, seems to be slightly distant slightly far from most of the other other observations however this is just a visual uh, inspection of the raw data uh, without uh, doing proper test uh, using proper statistical uh, tool we cannot say whether these uh, two observations are actually outliers uh, removing or not removing these observations from your data set will have important in impact will have huge impact on the mean on the median of your study so you should always uh, use proper statistical tool proper uh, system to uh, remove those uh, if they are not affecting your data set then you should not remove them so because of these reasons these outliers should always be addressed carefully as they affect uh, inference uh, as they affect conclusion obtained from your study and uh, we should always remember that uh, these outliers should be removed only from residual analysis not from the raw data because once we expose uh, our subject to the treatment in our scientific study uh, it is assumed that the treatment will affect uh, the reading obtained from those observations so so treatment will always affect uh, the normality and homogeneity of variance of those observations uh, so we should always do this kind of analysis uh, from residual and residual is basically the difference between observed value and predicted value of the dependent variable and uh, while uh, we talk about the test to remove outliers from your study that test is called launch test but that launch test is ba basically applicable for fixed effect model however we can also um, use uh, this um, this a test uh, for a linear mixed uh, mixed uh, effect model just to see whether uh, the particular observation whether these kind of observations are influential or not now let's go to uh, our sas software so this is our sas software this is editor window this is log window and this is result window and for the tutorial purpose i have created a random data set uh, which looks like this so uh, this data set is talking about the effect of treatment a b or c on weight of birds uh, so there are basically three treatments a b and c uh, and there are basically 36 birds which are allocated to three treatments and each birds are housed in individual cage so there are total of 36 cages cages so that means uh, each treatment has 12 birds and this third column shows the weight of the birds after exposing them to treatment a or treatment b or treatment c so first i will import this data set to uh, our sas software so for this we just have to copy this data set control c so i'll go to sas so I'll just copy paste and now I will type some of the commands which uh, you may or may not already know. If you don't know then you can just closely follow uh, these commands uh, which will be helpful for you in other uh, areas also. So I'll give it name data outlier test. So I'll type input. Uh, our first column is treatment uh, as you can see these treatments are in alphabet a b c so i will always keep dollar 
dollar sign uh, because if I don't keep dollar sign then it will not the SAS uh, software will not read that column and then the second column is case and third column is the weight of birds and then I'll type data lines so I personally prefer to print this data set uh, just to see if there is any problem in our our data set so for this I'll type pro print data our data name is outlier uh, outlier test and I will run it let's see how it goes so as you can see here uh, we can see our data set in the result window and it looks like there is no any problem in the our data set um, our data set looks perfectly fine so now I will um, I'll show you how to uh, work on removing outliers and if you look at this data set uh, most of the observation they look in an within a range within a small range so this data set is 2.2 uh, if you go here this data set this uh, observation looks slightly further uh, from other observations and uh, all other observations looks look fine uh, so I am not sure whether this observation is outlier or not so let's check whether this observation is outlier or not if this is not outlier we cannot remove this observation from our data set so let's work on that uh, pro glim I'll, I prefer to use glim mix because this uh, is the latest one and this is more uh, versatile compared to pro glm or pro mixed pro glim mix data now I am writing data second because after I run print then sometimes it doesn't work so our class is uh, treatment and I am modeling uh, weight weight for treatment uh, this is actually completely randomized design so I don't have a random uh, random effect here so for this I am just using residual as my random and our subject uh, is case so now I want to get uh, ls means treatment uh, and now I want to adjust it uh, for two key uh, because if we are making uh, multiple comparisons it's better to use uh, some kind of adjustment uh, so now I will show you how to get residuals uh, from your observations I'll type uh, the commands which we need to know about which we need to um, need to uh, analyze our normality or heterogeneity of variance or uh, to know about residual to see the residuals so let's do that so for this you need to type output uh, out equals to second you have to predict predicted equals to spread uh, residual equals to receipt student equals to student uh, receipt remember you you can't make a mistake in SAS while typing command if there is any small mistake uh, that will affect your analysis so let's run uh, so and uh, as you can see here I am about to get residuals uh, but if you don't print those residuals then you uh, won't get those residuals uh, in your result section so you have to print those residuals so I am typing command so first I will sort those uh, residuals by student uh, receipt and I'll print that 
so let's see if there is any mistake I'm just going to skim through my my command it looks fine it looks fine so I'm going to run uh, it looks like there is some small mistake in my command so let's see so it says uh, variable treatment not found so just for the convenience uh, I'm going to remove this print section because I already printed that so let's run it again uh, I'm going to remove this section also data equals to second because our data is uh, outlier test So now it looks like uh, the command were perfectly normal. So let's go from top. So this is the print of our uh, observation raw data. So this is our model information. I'm assuming that our data set is perfectly normal. That's why it shows Gaussian here. So let's not worry about that. In the future, I will show you how to check normality of your data. So there are basically three treatments. So number of observations 36. So this is the type 3 test of fix, fixed effect which you want to see uh, to know whether there are effect in treatments or not. So it looks like there are there is an effect in between treatment A, B or C. So we are not interested in that for now. Uh, so now as I as I mentioned previously uh, in my in my PowerPoint that uh, you should basically use launch test and uh, all those uh, observations, uh, all those residuals which are away from minus 3.4 to plus, uh, which are in between minus 3.4 to 3.4 to plus 3.4 are um, are not outliers. So those observations which don't meet which uh, those observations which don't meet this criteria are actually outliers so if it is below minus 3.4 or above 3.4 that uh, those are the outliers so let's go to SAS let's go to result section again so now uh, I already said you should always use residual value to uh, to see whether uh, those uh, those observations are outliers or not so it looks like all other observations are fine except this observation here which is below which is smaller than minus 3.4 so all other observations looks this is 1.97 fine this is zero, minus 0 0.09 fine so it looks like only 3.46 is the only this observation is outlier so this is from treatment a and from case 10 so uh, from this test we can easily uh, say that this is outlier and we can easily remove this uh, data uh, data from our we can easily remove this observation of this observation from our data set so that is from case 10 and from treatment a so if we go to our editor section so case 10 is this and uh, this is our treatment a. So let's remove this data from our uh, our data set. Let's remove this observation from our data set and let's run this and let's see if there is any difference. Uh, so I'm again going to run this. So now uh, this is not showing any residual value for that particular observation because we deleted it. So it looks like there is not much difference uh, in terms of type 3 test of fixed effect. Uh, let's see if there is any difference in F value. 
the latter analysis shows EF value as 21.91 and the first analysis showed EF value as 20.07 so we can basically see some difference so here it this difference may not be too obvious but um, sometimes uh, uh, that can have huge impact and not removing that outlier can have huge uh, impact on your study uh, so and this is just a random data set so uh, I cannot simulate all those differences I cannot uh, point out um, if that outlier has caused any difference or not but that can have but in your actual study that may always have huge impact uh, for the conclusion drawn from your study so so it's always uh, important to address those uh, outliers uh, in a meticulous way uh, hopefully this video will be useful uh, for your uh, study uh, study uh, please do not forget to like my uh, video and subscribe my channel thank you thank you guys for watching my channel